It's October 25th, and much to the delight of several people out there who've acquired, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the uh, International Harvester IH the, uh, 350 Utility Tractor. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to remove the bottom part of the steering box on this tractor so that I can uh, have it for a winter project down in the basement. And the thought being that if I can get everything all put together and finished, the complete assembly can be reinstalled in the tractor in the spring. That's the plan. Uh, originally I was going to just try and assemble everything on in, assemble everything in place on this thing, um, but I've got a problem with the steering column that I'm going to need to uh, do some work over the winter, some lathe work. Uh, I'm going to need to weld that shaft up and return it. It's going to be a whole thing. So anyways, I want to get that out. The reason why I hadn't taken it out previously is because normally they bolt in, but somebody had this bright idea. It's a nice October day and I think it's just cool enough that I don't have to deal with yellow jackets. You know, it's funny. Every time I leaned over here on this side of the tractor, I'd get a whiff of something disgusting, like a dead animal. And I finally figured out it's actually coming from this hole right here that's for a grease fitting. So I think something crawled inside of this arm assembly, which is hollow somehow, and died. Literally something crawled up there and died. <laughs> Anyways, if you get anywhere near this and take a whiff, it's disgusting. I mean, it could be just rotting leaves, I guess, but I don't think so. It smells, it smells pretty darn bad. So here's how I left it. I had this plastic bag over this hydraulic fitting. Uh, and I had this plastic, this larger plastic bag covering up the whole works here. So let me get back over on the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like the uh, plastic bag did a pretty decent job of keeping the rust out of there. I had also greased up that journal in there pretty well. So uh, anyways, here you can see the uh, Allen head cap screws that are... Uh, supposed to be responsible for bolting this down to the tractor but on this edge right here underneath all of this grease you could see right here some Weisenheimer ran a weld bead so I don't know what they were thinking but uh, I'm going to try and grind that off, but first I'm going to take out the cap screws and see whether or not it just breaks free. Maybe their welding was uh, not up to par and it's just a, a cold weld joint there that didn't get any penetration. That would be ideal. I was just beginning to wonder how I was going to get this Allen head screw out that's tucked up underneath here. And digging through the grease, I see that well, it's a regular bolt. Makes sense. Otherwise, otherwise you'd never get it out. I don't suppose it's loose enough for me to get with this. Uh, I'll try to get it off with this adjustable wrench on backwards. Yeah, pretty loose. Maybe that's why he welded it. Maybe the box kept loosening up on him as he was working one of the tractor and he said, ah! hundred yards away from the house. Well set up so I can keep an eye on the old girl, but far enough away that it's kind of a pain to work on over here. It is what it is. If it didn't have the loader on it, then I would 
use the Oliver loader to lift up the front end and just drag it over there and let it roll on the rear wheels. But with the loader on the front, that ain't an option. Looks like do a whole lot of rigging. And quite frankly, I don't want this thing just sitting in the yard, so I'd end up just having to bring it back after I was done. Some people would actually consider this to be an eyesore. Do you believe that? Please tell me. I brought a 916 open in wrench because I just realized that I can only get that bolt out so far before it impinges. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's half inch. Oh, that's five eighths. This is half inch. Yeah, but that's nine sixteenths. Dummy. Maybe I gotta loosen if I can get it off my fingers. I hadn't reached the limit of how far I could take this out before I can't get this wrench off of here yet. And it looks to me like um, there now. But That's awfully loose now. Ah, oh, it's one of these deals where it's grabbing at one spot. Eh. All right, you know what I'll do? I'll take the other Allen's head screws out of the other side there, and then I'll uh, come back and. If I get this to lift up any, I'll get the screw out then. There's a hole here with nothing in it. Some of these heads are so full of dirt or debris that it's hard to get the Allen wrench in there. Oh yeah. More well beat on this side. Why not just use the thread locking product? Boy, this gap screw is really tight. What's going on there? What's the dealio with that? This is an unscrew. I've turned it several times and it's barely moved. Maybe the hole's stripped out. Maybe that's what's going on. Either that or there's a helicoil under there that it's threaded into and the helicoil is pulling out. Does that make sense? No. Maybe. Because it started to screw and then it stopped. Now it's getting tighter again. There's a lot of wells over here. And I don't mean that's a Bill Well, former former governor of Massachusetts. Uh, conserve video and battery. Yeah, you know, I just got this screw out. I noticed as it was coming out, it looked bent. And it is, it's slightly bent. How the heck did that get bent? Maybe before he welded it, when it was loose, the whole box torqued and bent that screw. All right. Looks like he snuck weld in right in behind this cover. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and grab a 
brush to get a lot of this debris and heavy gunk off. Maybe I'll even uh, hit it with some uh, some degreaser before I do that, so that I can get a better look at what the heck I'm dealing with here. Wow. Uh, I want to take that transmission cover off in the future at some point. <laughs> you can bet I'm going to want to get rid of those welds. I'm also going to go get my dead blow mallet. So as I'm grinding on it, if I get to a point where it's weak enough, I could bash it and maybe break it free. Alright. Get a big old jug of water. Hopefully. Clean this up some. Yeah, I'll give that stuff a second to soak. Wouldn't it be funny if that stuff was all JB weld? Painted though, so I think it's... Well, I guess you could paint JB. I wonder if those are blind holes. Because if they're not blind holes, I might be getting water in the transmission, although I wouldn't be surprised if there's water in the transmission on this thing anyways. Nah, that don't look like no. That doesn't look like any JB well to me. You know, this sits higher than this over here. So is there some kind of a plate underneath this that acts as a spacer? You know what I forgot? My big dead blow mallet. Huh. I brought my die grinder out here with this rotary burr on it, thinking that maybe I could uh, use this because this will get in there type spots, but this is just a joke. There's, there's, there's no way I'm going to do it. The, uh, where I'm hitting the cast, the casting, it's, uh, Pretty aggressive on the casting, but it's uh, it's having very little effect on the actual weld beads. So whatever they welded this, whatever rod they used to weld this, pretty darn hard stuff. It doesn't seem like it's machinable. Uh, I'll try that stupid grinder again. Carburetor on the Makita generator is all screwed up too. Bad itself to injury. This has just been a waste of time. Gearbox, steering gearbox, is going to stay in the tractor. If I get some small grinding stones and use my die grinder and spend probably an hour of grinding on this thing, I could probably get it off. I just don't, at this point, I just don't think it's worth it. Plenty of other things I could work on over the winter. Oh well. I could still repair the shaft over the winter, get it ready for installation. Oh, who knows? Might luck out. Might even get some mild, mild weather during the winter, and might even come out here during the winter and put the damn thing in. Who knows? Oh, that's gonna be it for now.